So leg seven of the Moors Millions is next. And this is a long distance one. This is a four miles and one furlong this time. And it's a big field for this. Not that many long distance races this week. And the top one is Midget Camera for David Robertson. Emma's Legend February for Graham Clutterbuck. Verge, James Shea, Geralt, Paul O'Neill, Thistledown, please. Daniel French, Sheila, Craig Beckwith, Cartan Tantalus for Hems. Bolshoi, Bling for David Robertson. Maritza, Thomas Rogers, a Fleet Lipped, James Shea. Debansha Man, Alex Cherry. Darren Thompson's got two. Inga Bird and Yavari feature. Don Quixote for Leon Van Rensburg. National Pastime, Joshua Sutherland. Lintor Fox. For Graham Clutterbuck, Slip Anchor, Paul O'Neill, Southern Spectrum, Alex Cherry, Citizen Kane, Paul Rhodes, Bogus Penny, Marty Leadham, Gross, Buku, Paul Rhodes, Bright Sparky, Marty Leadham and Kono, Paul Fisk. So 23 then. So we've got a few of these are Ian Mark for the National, they're already racing and down towards the first in the rain. It's going to make it a stiffer test of stamina still. And 21 fences to take, which isn't a lot to be fair, over four miles. It's a fairly easy jumping task, this one. I expect to see most of these get round. I think there's 30 in the National. Over it, for three furlongs. I expect there to be a good 28 really in this at least, not just 21. So, almost like a week off for some of these seasoned four milers. And Cartan Tantalus and Yavari feature lead into the first, and they all jump over it. Nicely, I'm surprised that Slip Anchor's not there in the lead. He normally goes from the front. Not sure where that one's gone. It's in the middle of a pack at the moment, but it's Yavari featuring the Darren Thompson colours in the lead then. From Cartan Tantalus in second, get back to the Grey Geralt. I think he's probably a stable companion of Slip Anchor who's on the inside in fourth. They pass the winning post then. I'm going to come around it twice yet. Emma's Legend February is also close up, but they're still staying very wide on the track, some of these, and some of those jockeys will be surely looking to cut across to the inside before too long as they take the second. As you can see, plenty of space between the fences. If you make a mistake, there's plenty of times to regain your equilibrium and get back on track. And it's Yavari featuring Cartan Tantalus. That's, of course, if you haven't managed to unship the pilot. And it's Yavari feature. Cartan Tantalus as they take the third. You see them stream over that one and they're all over it okay. And landing nicely on the other side. Yavari featuring Cartan Tantalus then share the lead. And they two or three length gap back to Slip Anchor. He's now moving closer to the lead. Geralt. The Grey is fourth as they take the fourth fence. Bit of a mistake by Yavari feature and also a mistake too by Sheila. The rest of them got over it. Reasonably okay. Inga Bird just about the back mark of Don Quixote and a fleet lipped also towards the black. Oh, he's gone. There's a fall at the ditch. Slip anchor's gone. So that's a bit of a surprise there. We've been bigging that one up to lead them and he's crashed out already. Well, maybe it's because he wasn't in the lead. He likes to be in front that one, I think. And Yavari feature is the leader from Cartan Tantler's second. Gap back to Geralt in third. Midget Camera is fourth. Then Bogus Penny and Sheila. And Verge, Gross Buku is also up there. So two is Emma's Legend, February. Thistle down, please. In those JP McManus colours is close up as well as they take the next. Good jump there by Bogus Penny. Seeing that one move up into fourth. The Avari feature is in front. It's Cartan Tantalus in second. Geralt third, Bogus Penny fourth, Midget Camera fifth. Then comes Sheila and Gross Buku and Verge as they take the next. And all safely over that one as well. Bit of a sticky jump towards the back by one of the Alex Cherry horses. And it's Yavari Feature in the lead at this next one. Over that one they go. Slow jump that time by Bolshaw and Bling towards the back. The front two have remained the same throughout so far. Yavari feature and Cartan Tantalus. Gap of three then to Geralt and Bogus Penny run together. Then Emma's Legend February and Midget Camera. Gross Buku is next. Then Verge Maritza is also reasonably well placed on the outside. Thistle down, please. After that one, Kono and Citizen Kane as they take the next. Another good jump by Bogus Penny and another faller. Don Quixote's gone. So that's Leon's out. At that one. So two down. And still a fair old way to go. That's the tenth. That's a big ditch. And they're all over that one. Okay. 
with Gavari Feature and Kartan Tantler still disputing the lead as they have done throughout. They swing into the home straight again. They come past the winning post and they'll go out for another circuit. But it's Gavari Feature and Kartan Tantler who will lead again as they come past the stand. Take this fence in the straight. Geralt, Bogus Penny, and Midget Camera next. Under it they go. And they're all safely over that one. One or two mistakes again. Bolshoi, Bling, and Southern Spectrum didn't jump it all that well. So they're racing then down there towards the big screen and the winning post. And they'll swing out right handed for one more circuit of the track. And Cartan Tantalus on the outside has just poked its head in front of Gavari feature but those two have been disputing the lead throughout then a gap of about four lengths back to Geralt who's third then Bogus Penny is four and Emma's Legend February is five then Midget Camera six and Gross Baku is seven and Maritza is eight and Thistle Down Please is nine and then Virgin Sheila and Debancha Man and then Kono Citizen Kane after that then Lintor Fox as they take the next one and they're all safely over that one as well towards the back of the field Inga Bird and Bright Sparky with Bolshoi and Ballet, a Fleet Lip National Pastime, and finally Southern Spectrum. So Cartan Tantalus then is now a length to the good from Yavari Feature as they take the next. And those leading pair are coming back to the pack now. Emma's Legend February has moved through into third. Then Midget Camera fourth, Bogus Penny and Geralt just losing their places a little bit. Thistle Down Please moves forward. Gross Baku and Sheila also trying to get into it around the outside. Maritza is well placed as they take the next. And over that one they all go with Bright Spark in Southern Spectrum, the back two. And Cartan Tantalus, a clear leader there on his own by two lengths. To Yavari feature, Emma's Legend February and Midget Camera over that next ditch. Slow jump by Midget Camera. I've seen that one overtaken by Bogus Penny. And they're queuing up behind this leading three. And one or two of them are quite wide on the track. Particularly Maritza. Gross Baku de Bansherman. Also quite wide. They've still got over a mile to race. And Kartan Tantalus is in the lead. By possibly up to three lengths to Yavari Feature, who's been pressed for second now as they take that next one. Good jump there by Emma's Legend February. See that one just about getting into second. Bright Spark is dropped to the back. Line Tall Fox hasn't got going at all today. And Cartan Tantalus is in the lead from Yavari Feature and Emma's Legend February. Thistle down, please. Sheila now really beginning to get into it as Geralt loses its place on the inside. They take the 17th and over that one there was a good jump by Bogus Penny that saw that one move into second. But it's Cartan Tantalus in front. Bogus Penny is second. They're queuing up and they're pretty tightly packed behind as they take this 18th. There's three more to take then after this. But still quite a lot of running to do and Cartan Tantalus is the leader. And they take your pick of any from about five in second place. It's probably just about thistle down, please. At this stage, you've already featured getting back into it on the inside. Bogus Penny, the ones that are really losing ground are Virgin Maritza, but they're pretty close. They're going to lose a couple of lengths on the turn, but that's all. And it's Cart and Tantalus in the lead. You've, look at this, a fleet lip that's come from absolutely nowhere to come through to challenge for the lead. And also coming through now is Inga Bird as they take the third. Last time something's gone there. There's a fall of Verge has gone. So a fleet lip has suddenly hit the front. It's all changed up front as the lead changes and it's a fleet lift who's gone on from Inga Bird and Maritza Cartan Tantus drops back to fourth Bogus Penny and Yavari Feature have disappeared over the second last they go and it's a fleet lift from Maritza they've only got one more to take then there a fleet lift is in the lead Maritza is second Inga Bird is in third then Cartan Tantus and Thistledown please after that national passed on and Kono are trying to run on they've still got two and a half furlongs to race but they've only got one more fence to take and it's a fleet lift in front from Maritza in second Inga Bird is third. It's surely between these three and the rest are trying to run on, but National Pastime is the only one who's really making any ground at the moment. They come down towards the final fence then. And it's a fleet lip who takes it in the lead. Gets over it nicely. Good jump by Maritza in second. Slow one by Ingebert. National Pastime and Sheila are trying to run on. There's still a four one to go, but it's a fleet lip in front. A fleet lip who didn't get a mention for the first three quarters of the race and suddenly burst onto the scene. He's racing up towards the line and he's got to take this pretty cosily. Up towards the line. A fleet lip is the winner. Maritza is going to be second. National Pastime runs on to third. Then Sheila and Ingebert. Kono and Dibancha. 
Russian and fizzled out please and a funeral trail back to Gross Buku who was the last one to finish and what a strange race that was because a fleet lip was just tucked in the pack for most of the race they got a mention and just suddenly appeared almost like he was hiding behind the fence and joined in with two to go and he's taken it at 40 to 1 and that's a pretty good win. You can see how they finished. They all finished quite well. And a fleet lip takes it for James Shea. Maritza for Thomas Rogers is second. National pastime Joshua Sutherland third. Ingerbird fourth for Darren Thompson. And Sheila for Craig Beckwith was fifth.